Hi, Nicholas. Hi. Thanks. Hello. Yep. Hi. Michael, very good to see nice you to again, see again yeah, okay. after such a long time. So. <laughs> exactly. Thank yeah. you for having us here and you know we work with we have been working with Michael and Silica for a number of years and I would like Michael to show some of the products that we've been collaborating together and they have on our, on, on their side. Very good. Yeah. So maybe just to mention this is uh, the Avnet Silica boots we have here. So we are a distributor, we work very close with uh, ST Micro Electronics. So we have a very very good cooperation with them. So and in fact, um, what we have here is a kind of AI, so artificial intelligence, machine learning, uh, vision experience zone. So and, uh, what I will do maybe is to explain a bit more in detail about, um, uh, about the demos we have. In fact, um, what we do here is we show phase two uh, demos. So we have one uh, specifically focused on vision. The other one is focused on uh, machine learning with um, uh, with kind of classification. So this is the demo we have for people mounting. So you see here an, uh, an ST board where we have an STM 32H747. Um, so this is a discovery board. So this is used for uh, development purposes. Uh, you also have a miniature camera module, which is put on a board. Uh, which is connected then to this to the discovery board. So what we do here is um, so as you can see, we capture people around here. So it's uh, people counting. It can be used for access control, for example. It can also be used for occupancy detection in a room. So to know how many people enter a room and to limit the maximum amount of people, for example. And so, by the way, what you see here is uh, the output. You can see the output of, on the screen, but it's, it's very small, it's very limited. Uh, but you'll see it also here, the number of people it recognizes. So it's an, uh, an object detection um, uh, tool, in fact. And this is how you can uh, see it as a, as a demo. In addition, we also have another uh, demo. So this is focused on anomaly detection. Yep. So it's in the Clio board, so it's also an ST Micro Electronics board. And what we have here is there is a kind of fan uh, connected to this board. And uh, we can detect if there is an issue with the fan, for example. And that's why we, why we call it a clocked fan. Uh, so that means, for example, what you can see here, and I don't know if you need to zoom in. But you see, for example, here the results. Uh, when you, for example, put something in front of the fan, then there is an issue, it's, it's clocked. So, but the background of this is, or the most important to tell about this, is that in fact, here you can implement machine learning by using a standard algorithm, but you can also uh, implement it that it's completely automatic learning itself. And then afterwards, when there is a kind of anomaly, which is not typically happening, then it will do the detection. So this is very nice, because then you even do not have to create uh, your algorithm in detail, in fact, you have it then available already. You just restart the board, it will start learning, and uh, after a while, when it learned the algorithm itself automatically, it will uh, be able to detect if there is an anomaly, for example, if you have something in front of it, and, and then it knows there is an issue. This can be, of course, with a fan, but you can imagine this also is like a motor uh, control, for example, where you have an issue. So this is, in fact, how it is implemented. Right. So you have a lot of business going on with the ST? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we work already many years uh, with, uh, with ST. So it's a very nice and very good cooperation we have, uh, <laughs> especially also with Marcelli. So Marcelli is the guy that uh, supports us a lot. So he's in the neighborhood again. So yes. yeah, we have a very close relationship. So of course, already many years. I remember we've been working on AI for what? Three years now, more? Four? Oh, it's even more. Even right? more. Don't forget. Before we had COVID. COVID. Yeah, we had before COVID, COVID. So, exactly. But I think like it's about four or five, five years ago. Five years at least. Yeah. We also organized like uh, what we called an AI discovery uh, day. Webinars. Seminars. Webinars seminars, and customers, seminars. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And also uh, live physical events. Yes, before COVID. Before yeah. COVID and uh, yeah, it was and really hopefully we'll return to that. Who knows? Maybe we'll do it again. I'm quite sure. <laughs> so <laughs> hopefully it doesn't take too long. At least we are here now today, so exactly. it's very nice. And you to can show the customers. Exactly, exactly. How does it so feel to much. be in a real show with real people? 
Oh, well, it's a kind of relief, I would say, because uh, after getting stuck and um, being stuck at home, I would say it's really nice to be here and to see so many people because now you recognize uh, what it feels to have physical contact. We have not so seen each other for, no, for three really years and now yeah, we yeah, can yeah, see each other yeah. here. So it's great to be here. It's very nice. And it's so nice to see the ST booth. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Since 2019. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's been a great. So Excellent. perfect. Thanks, Michael, again. Thank you very I much. I will take Nicolas to to, to, to Georgia just for a brief moment. Okay.